Okay, um, this is a, a, a the uh, last video it did cut me off. My uh, video was actually a much longer, I think like five or six minutes. And uh, where it cut me off, I was basically saying that uh, Wiccans will usually do spells and rituals for uh, other people like... Um, uh, our troops or their nation's troops over overseas and wars um, uh, neighbors that are ill and uh, family members that are in need of something uh, they, they will do rituals and spells for uh, personal things but it's basically like um, excuse me for um things like uh, maybe they need help to uh, get a job or um, they need help with uh, money matters. Now th they won't do a spell ritual saying okay you know I need money you know give it to me. It's, it's more like um, uh, help me to acquire it through my own means. Um, lead me in the right direction, basically. Um, like I said, it's it's not really a me religion. It's more um, it, it it's beyond that. I really can't describe it too much. Um, I, I'm not the uh, most knowledgeable person about it because, like I said, I'm still pretty much learning about it, like all are. But um, I'm, st I'm still doing a lot of research about it, but from what I gather, it's not a bad thing. It's not evil or satanic. It's not created by the devil. Um, like I said in the last video before it cut, uh, you know, after it cut me off, I was saying, um, there are a lot of books and websites out there that you can, um, get your hands on if you really want to uh, look into this. There are um, books like by uh, um, uh, Raymond Buckland. Um, one of them that's great for beginners is A Complete Book of Witchcraft. It's a great, great book. It's, um, I haven't gotten completely through it, but I am trying. Um, uh, it's at pretty much an entirely blue book with some lighting on it, and it'll, it'll say the, um, the title on it and everything like that, and it's great, and it has a big pentagram on it, which it'll basically, a pentagram is basically this right here, which I always wear around my neck. Um, it'll have that on it. There's a, uh, another book out there that I think is pretty good for, uh, beginners, it's called, um, uh, to ride a silver broomstick or something like that. And uh, the person that write, writes it, I think his na her name is uh, Silver Raven Wolf or uh, Raven Silver Wolf or something like that. Um, I'll, I'll find out later. I can't quite remember. Um, there's another one called The Spiral Dance. I think it's by like Amber K or something like that. Um, there, there's bunches of books out there that you could get get that are um, perfect for anybody that at least wants to learn more. Um, there's a great website out there that if you really want to learn more, you can definitely go there. Um, uh, it, it has courses and everything, and it has a, a basic membership that you do not have to pay if you don't want to. It's uh, www.witchschool.com. Uh, you will have to create an account to actually take classes, but it doesn't cost you anything. And it's, it's a great way to learn a lot about the uh, religion and other things like that. Um, so I suggest that if you really want to learn more, go to that one. Um, there, there's a lot more that have, have lots of 
uh, great information, what I gotta do is just, you know, go to Google or uh, Yahoo or something and just, you know, search it. That's all you have to do, and it'll come up with a lot of great um, websites. Um, that is, you know, if you live in a community that, that's basically Christian based and uh, not a lot of um, occult stores or um, uh, witches in the area, which, you know, where I live, there's not that many. So I'm kind of forced into a sol solitary practitioner. Uh, thing, but um, yeah. Um, uh, if you live in a basically like a Bible Belt town or you know a place that's mainly Christian, you can you know go on the uh, internet or go to you know local bookstores or something and see if they have a uh, metaphysical section. Um. My local bookstore would probably be um, about 25 miles away. So, uh, yeah, that's how far out in the boonies I am. But, um, yeah, uh, the, the, main, the main bookstore I go to has a metaphysical, se me yeah, metaphysical section. And uh, it, it's not much of a selection, but it has a lot of great beginner books. Um, a lot of uh, beginner tarot cards and stuff like that. So uh, that's that's a great place to start for beginners. Um, it, yeah, if you if you want to learn a lot more, I I probably guess if if you're like um, like me and the bookstore that has the books are mainly beginner books, you'd probably want to go to like online stores to look for you know the more uh, advanced books. Uh, maybe Amazon or Walmart or something. They may have something. Um, you know, stuff like that. Just, you know, look around. Actually, uh, do research on the uh, the subject. Um, and please, if you ever do... Um, research if you ever do videos on the subject please for the for those of us that actually know something about it please at least do some research because there's nothing more um hurtful than uh bad information uh misguided people that really don't know any better or really don't want to look into it before they start um uh start talking about the subject i mean it's it's it, it's really hurtful for the minorities that are actually trying to get some uh uh some uh oh what's the word i'm looking for <laughs> some uh not really, um, well, basically tolerance. I mean, most minorities that are very small, that aren't very tolerated, all they need is just some tolerance. And most of the time, all they need is just some, somebody to actually sit there and say, okay, this is how it is, this is what the stereotype is, and this is completely wrong. Um... Especially like the uh, the uh, bully action that's been going on the last few months. The the teenagers that have been com committing suicide because of bullies. Uh, that's one thing that's definitely uh, uh, very not uh, tolerated, which definitely needs to change. I personally believe that uh, I'm getting off subject. I am very sorry, but um, gay, uh, gay people, in my opinion, are uh, they are. I believe they are born that way. That is my belief. I think um, if if I'm wrong, please uh, correct me. 
but I think uh, in the scientific community, it has kind of been uh, proven that these people are born this way. Uh, I just watched part of a movie last night where this uh, 17 year old kid was basically bullied and then beaten to death because he was a transgender uh, male. He basically felt, for those of you that don't really know what that means, which are probably very few and far between, a, a transgender is basically somebody that feels they were born in the wrong body. They may be a male that feels inside they are female, or they may be female that feel that they were supposed to be male. And uh, this movie that I watched last night, um, this 17-year-old boy um, was basically beaten to death because he felt that he was, uh, on the inside, female, and he was just born into a boy's body. And he was killed for it, which I think is absolutely horrible. Nobody should die over something like that. Nobody should die, period. Nobody should be killed. That's just my opinion. It's sad. Uh, like, um, uh, I, uh, a few, I think like a few months to a year ago, there was a, uh, a female in the Middle East. I can't remember what her name was or, um, and what exactly what country she was like Iran or, uh, uh, Pakistan or Afghanistan or something, one of those countries, one of those Muslim countries. Uh, she's basically, she was basically a, uh, Muslim woman. I don't know if she's even alive yet. I don't know. But, um, something happened to where they, um, something she did or something she said, I don't quite remember, um, landed her into, uh, jail because, uh, or to be killed because of something she had did or said that they thought was uh, blasphemy. And uh, that's very sad. That's something that I, I don't ever want to hear about. But it happens all the time in, in this world. Uh, somebody is uh, killed or threatened to be killed because their views on a certain thing is different than the minority. Or major majority, sorry. And uh, it happens a lot with uh, Christian um, overseas. Uh, it happens all the time in this country with um, gays, lesbians, transgenders, and bisexuals. Um, it happens still with um, uh, racial issues. It still happens in this country. Um, it it needs to stop. We need to stop harassing people because they have different views than the majority. And um, please, for whatever you do, please do research before you do a video on the subject. That that's that's all I'm asking. That's all I want you to do is do research before you go and do something rash and end up hurting somebody. Because if you hurt some, if you hurt and end up killing that person, it's not just that person you hurt. You're also in the long run hurting yourself, and you're also hurting the people that love that one, one person you decided to attack, and they ended up dying. You're hurting their family, their friends, um, classmates, co-workers, everybody they cared for. You're hurting them, too. So, please, just be tolerant, do research, and just please be kind to each other, please. That's all I ask.